Hey everybody, this is PJ Collects. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna play some Game Boy. It's been a while since I've shown you guys any retro video game finds, I feel like. And so I wanted to show you guys a recent pickup that I made in retro video games. And that is this Game Boy collection that I picked up. So, there's the Game Boy and then a bunch of games. I'll, I'll try not to spoil it too much. Hopefully you didn't see them. So I think I found this on Facebook Marketplace. I messaged the person. They just had it listed without a price on it, and so I asked them how much they wanted. They had originally asked for 50 for it, and that was too much. That was more than I wanted to pay. So I offered 40 and she accepted, and so I ended up paying $40 for this. Now, I normally wouldn't want to pay that much for a Game Boy lot, but I think that I can sell some of the stuff that I don't want and make back a lot of that money, if, if not maybe all of it. So a lot of that will depend on whether I keep the, the system itself. I haven't decided yet. So let's start with the system, the console. It is the atomic purple, sort of the translucent purple color. And yeah, it's pretty grimy. It's really dirty. I don't know if you can see sort of the dirt and grime on there. So it needs a good wiping down, but it should work just fine. I've powered it on and it works. So I think everything's there and it, and it works fine. So I'm happy about that. The screen, looks pretty good other than just like the dirt and grime on there. In fact, it might be nicer than my Game Boy screen. Let me grab that for you for comparison. So my Game Boy color is the grape purple or something like that. And I don't know if you can tell real well, but there are some scratches and stuff in it. If I can get the light to reflect just right. I don't see as many scratches on this guy. Just a lot of gunk and, and grime, so. We'll get that cleaned up. But I want to go through the games with you. There were 12 games in total, which is one of the reasons why I wanted it. And some of these games are really good, and uh, I didn't feel like I could really pass them off. So first we've got the Rugrats movie. Not a game that I'm super enthusiastic about. We have Mary-Kate and Ashley get a clue, you know, for every preteen. Try and save some of the best for last. We've got Shrek, a Game Boy Color game, Shrek. We have Frogger, which I actually am kind of excited about that. Never played it on the Game Boy, but I do like Frogger. It's a fun game, so we'll see how this port is. That is one that I probably will try and keep. We have another Rugrats game, Rugrats Totally Angelica. I don't know if that's focusing on there. Um, next we had a blank cartridge. I don't know what this game is. What do you guys think? Real quick, before you pause the video, leave a comment down below. What game do you think is, is this game without a label? I, I have no idea. And then two more of sort of the, the junk games. We've got Barbie Ocean Discovery. And we have SpongeBob SquarePants. Legends of the Lost Spatula, which is a GBC game. So that was eight of the games. The last four games are the games that I had really wanted to get this for. Mostly three of them. I have one of these already, so I'll show you that one. That was... No, I don't have this game. Oh, I'm so excited! So Donkey Kong Land 2. I have Donkey Kong Land 1, but I don't have the second game. So that's awesome, all four of these games I needed. Oh, I'm so stoked, yay! Cool, that's great. Great, great news. Next we have Super Mario Land, which is a great game. I have lots and lots of fond memories playing this game, and uh, it's, it's a really fun one. Super Mario Land 2, which I didn't ever play this game growing up. I don't know why I, I didn't have this game. Um, in fact, I didn't have Super Mario Land 1 either. I borrowed that from a cousin and, and beat it and played it lots and lots. But I didn't have Super Mario Land 2. They didn't have Super Mario Land 2, so I never played this game. And then the last game is Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land. So the first three Super Mario Land games, 
and Donkey Kong Land 2, which all four of those games were games that I needed for the collection. So these are the ones that I'm definitely keeping. I think I will probably keep Frogger as well. The rest of the games, I don't really have much of an interest, so I'll probably try and resell them. I may try and bundle them with this guy if I decide to sell this as well. I already have a Game Boy Color, so I don't really need a second a second console, but I do like the color, so it'd be, it'd be fun to have two, especially if I want to like trade Pokemon with my son when we start playing those games together, that, that could be really fun. So I might, I might keep this one, I haven't decided yet. Okay, lastly, just to show you, well, let me let me show you with, we'll do Donkey Kong Land 2. Oh, and it powered on, but it will not boot the game. So this game is pretty dirty. I don't know if you can see the game, the grime on there. Nope. I will go through and clean these cartridges. But just to try and get it working, it's not working. Oh, we're so much closer. I don't know if you can tell. It's it's uh, it's getting there. It's thinking about it. I think it's just an issue with the contacts. Now it's worse. All right, I'm gonna pause this and see if I can get it to work. And of course, as soon as I stop the video, the very next time I got it to boot up, so. So there we go. And we got it loaded. I have no idea. My guess is that the battery save does not work on this, but still really glad to have it. So. The console does work, and now let's try this mystery game. Looks like it's going to boot up. What does that say? I can't see it. It's all backwards. Is that Power Rangers? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Well, okay, how about that? I have no idea about this game, never played it. Well, okay, so Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Tell me down below, is this a good game? I've never heard of this game or played it before. I don't know much about the Game Boy Collection. There's so many games, and like I've really only played a few of the really good games, and and there's lots of other good games that I just that are out there that I just haven't played. So let me know, is that a good game? I'd be interested in hearing. So that is my $40 Game Boy lot, including the console. Uh, let me know down below, do you think that I got a good deal paying $40 for this? What would you, would you say that it's worth it for these four games that I needed? I think that it probably is, but let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in this comment section below what is your favorite Game Boy game. And go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and we'll see you next time.